All right, lunch with Lombardi is back. I'm on the Marina Green in San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge in the background. I'm gonna talk about Trey Lance. Actually, some substantive talk about Trey Lance and a substantive showing of a nice sandwich here from Golden Gate Deli in the Marina, the Sandlot, with some chicken on it. Anyway. It was really good. Anyway, enough of this Trey Lance noise. We've got people arguing whether he's QB2 or QB3, QB1, whatever. Some people are just too emotionally fixated on where a quarterback stands in the pecking order when there actually is no official pecking order. Trey Lance is going to have a chance to prove himself this offseason against Sam Darnold. Brock Purdy's out, so Brock Purdy is not part of the equation. But Trey Lance will have a chance to show that he's made the mechanical improvements necessary. And I say mechanical improvements because that's the key here. We know Trey is smart. That's why the 49ers drafted him. They liked the way that he made decisions within the context of a pro-style offense at North Dakota State. We know that he's physically talented. This is a good athlete. He's got a cannon for an arm. It's the bridge in between the two, between the physical and the cerebral, and that's the mechanical. The bridge between the two is what Trey Lance has to take care of. That looping, elongated release, some of the tighter footwork, those are the two things that he has to do. And Matt Barrows and I wrote an article about Trey the other day, and uh, you know, one line in there has, I think, made some waves, and, and it should make some waves. Trey Lance has been working with Jeff Christensen this offseason. The work with Jeff Christensen, who is Jimmy Garoppolo's quarterback coach, we're back, we're going back to high school. He's a guy that works on quick releases. The work with Jeff Christensen, I think, according to some of the video that we've seen, has tightened up his release. And in the article that Matt and I wrote, John Lynch hinted that the work with Jeff Christensen for Trey Lance has been productive. Again, work has been productive. So when we see Trey out here in this offseason program, I think that we're going to see a tighter release. And the question is going to be, can he maintain that mechanical improvement into the live action of games? Because that's when you revert to old habits. But Trey has an opportunity to show that that mechanical improvement can stick. And he's done the work with a QB coach who specializes in this kind of stuff and tightening up the release. We have seen video evidence that there has been progress and John Lynch is optimistic that that progress will perpetuate itself moving forward. So that's something to keep an eye on. By the way, Marina Green right here, right behind me. It is beautiful, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a windy day though today. I am going to swim in the bay. It's gonna be a little chilly. The sandwich gave me fuel. I'm gonna be hungry when I get out though because the body is gonna burn a lot of calories trying to stay warm. More updates from San Francisco today. Gonna to show you guys some more good food, some more cool places on this blustery Monday following the NFL Draft.